Today is my birthday and I'm so overwhelmed to witness this day. Lord, I'm so grateful and I just want to testify the goodness of God. This pandemic has been very, very challenging to everyone. The fear of catching this virus was so overwhelming. So this Bible verses was dropped into my spirit. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So beginning of the pandemic, I started declaring this Bible verse. And also I did some praying and fasting using Psalm 91, which says, He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Lord most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. I thank the God Almighty so much for his protection over our lives throughout the year. Physically, I did what I could, and my department was gracious with PPE. All the home remedies, steaming, drinking lemon, drinking ginger, just because of the fear of catching this virus. In May 2020, I started this home workout, which I have never done before just to boost my immune system. Never did I know I would become so hooked up with exercising. So since May to date, I've lost over 13 kg. I've dropped my dress size from 14 to 16 to 10 to 12. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you are struggling with anything, whether being struggling or losing weight, just get up and make the move because our God is there to strengthen you, whatever you want to do. I just want to thank God for life. I just want to thank God for the woman I've become. I just want to thank God for grace, strength and protection. He is the reason I'm alive today. I'm so heartbroken for those who have lost their loved ones through this pandemic. May the Lord God Almighty continue to strengthen you all. We pray for protection. We pray for guidance. We pray for safety. May the Lord continue to guide us all. And we pray for this pandemic to come to an end. What I've learned in my message is that keep praying, be consistent with whatever you're doing, love yourself, love your neighbors, because tomorrow will never come.